Let's talk turkey. Hey, welcome back. I'm Jen, and on this episode of Cook the Book, we're doing a Cook the Basics video, and we are going to, uh, we're going to be butterflying a turkey. This bad boy here, this is who we're going to take care of. But before we take care of him, we've got to move it out of the way to get our veg ready. So we're going to be butterflying our turkey, and he is going to be laying on a bed of roasted carrots and potatoes. Um, root vegetables are always good. First thing you want to do is make sure to peel your carrots. We're not peeling potatoes because if you wash them good enough, the skin tastes pretty good. As long as they don't taste like dirt, you're good to go. So just make sure that you cut all your veg into no bite-sized pieces. You don't want them too big. You want to all cook evenly. So remember this size when you're cutting carrots. So to our root vegetables here, we're going to add some fresh rosemary. Uh, this I just clipped from, I've got a little plant in my kitchen window, and honestly don't use rosemary that much. Don't know why I bought it. Been looking for a reason to use it. Um, so I figured, tis the season, might as well make some rosemary potatoes to go with my turkey here. So I've got a couple sprigs there. You don't need to overdo it. This is, there, yeah, i say that's enough. Um, you can try some dried rosemary. I just don't know what measurements to give you. I'm sorry. All right, and to that, we're going to add a drizzle of olive oil, probably a couple tablespoons worth, big pinch of kosher salt, some fresh cracked pepper, really need to get a real pepper grinder because this one takes forever and it's terrible okay just kind of mix that up to coat all your vegetables Now we're going to put our vegetables in our roasting pan here and set them aside until our guy here is ready. Okay, I have a 13 pound turkey here. Uh, and what I'm going to do first is remove the neck from the place where the giblets go. And the giblets from where the neck goes. Uh, if you feel like making stock or gravy later, don't get rid of those. Okay, so now we're going to take this thing out. This here is useless. It says it's a pop-up timer. I'm pretty sure the only thing it times is when your turkey is so dry that the Mojave Desert is jealous. That's the only thing that's good for us. So throw that right into the trash can and pray that this next part goes well. Okay, so to butterfly a turkey, you're taking the backbone out. There are several ways you can do it. Well, there's one way you can do it, several tools you can use. I'm using poultry shears. You can use kitchen scissors, but like actual kitchen scissors that come with the butcher block, not the orange handled kitchen scissors you find in your junk drawer. Now something strong enough to cut through rib bones. So we're going to go up one side. Gotta apply some force right around the thigh. You 
be careful because the bones are sharp and what you get towards the middle you can cut actually cut yourself on turkey bones it's not pretty I've done it before it really hurts Those are not as sharp as I would have liked. So I'm gonna take a knife here and I'm gonna cut the skin. They're working on the bones, they're just not cutting skin the way I want. So I guess I'm gonna score it where my scissors are gonna go through. Uh, this will also make good stock, so save it with the rest. And now you're going to take your bird here, turn him around. Spread it out a little bit and crack the breastbone. So now you have flat turkey and it's time to season all right so here I've got about three tablespoons of kosher salt and about two teaspoons of poultry seasoning uh, this poultry seasoning has coriander sage thyme allspice marjoram and white pepper in it you can use those spices individually if you want but this is gonna be quick and easy so you don't have to think about too much so now we're going to Flip this guy back over and sprinkle about half of our seasoning inside there. Some of the legs. Rub it in real good. Watch out for the rib bones. And the rest of it goes over here. Or as much as you need to cover your turkey. Okay. Now, he's pretty ready. We're going to just throw that bird right on top of our veg. sure that spread them out and that you tuck the wing tips under so they don't burn look just relax and waiting to go in the oven this bird can't wait okay uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a preheated oven to 425 degrees. I'm going to cook it for 45 minutes and then I'm going to check the temperature on it and see how he's looking. Alright, this is where we are after about 45 minutes at 425. And we're going to go ahead and put it back in for 45 more minutes at 350 until he reaches an internal temperature, the thickest part of the breast of 155. So, after just an hour and a half in the oven, we have a beautiful, golden, fully done turkey and these lovely roasted root vegetables to go with it. Let's go ahead and cut into this bad boy. Oh, look how tender, juicy that is. And there you go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just cut a little piece and try it here. Let's give it a taste. Ooh, hot. Mmm, oh God. Mmm, that's so good. So good, so tender, so moist. 
yeah best fastest way to cook a turkey in my opinion well i hope it helped you guys out with your holiday bird um if you guys like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button and when you do click that little bell icon that way you know every time i upload a video if you uh have anything to say about the recipe leave me a comment down below if you've tried it if you want to try it if uh you have any pointers or tips you know comment right down below and uh you know i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you try out the recipe and i will see y'all next time bye